victory! Yeah, not, not having the short swords might bite them in the ass. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be able to delay much on C. Um, oh, we literally won. That's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, they'll do their initial setup. I think. I'm glad that Rose didn't like use the stream advantage to say, hey, they didn't defend B and they didn't just go straight to B right Yeah, I mean, they've got their battle plan, so they're going to do the exact same thing. But this time, um, Love and Devotion have actually put stuff over B. Probably they were expecting maybe a push from that side. And just to be on the safe side, they've decided not to push that way. And again, Falcon it is and the Kaylee Militia have been banned. And there is no artillery. That's why all the siege towers will instantly get in. And I, I, I think that one of the big things that can't be understood yeah. is the fact that they're not, Rose aren't contesting that fort, but there's, there's, there's like eight pieces of artillery on there that can that's, be used to get those troop kills. I think that's why this three guy's literally climbing up now. So this is where the initial fight's going to be. They've got no units, so they're going to struggle. Um, the defenders don't have anything good there, though, like unit-wise. Um, so the units aren't going to do that much. One treb should clear that. There's nothing in the rules that you can't use. Yeah, there comes a treb. You just can't place artillery, so you can use trebs. I mean, that's just all peasants, so it's not like a huge amount of work it's still that you hit them there. It's 110 leadership, which, is, which can be... It's not be all like, green. They've got village watchmen and stuff in as well. Oh, I saw a lot of... Um... It's all village watchmen, I think. Literally all of it. And then one oh. set of woodcutters, so it's uh, it's literally nothing good. I mean, it's good to get rid of them because they're just blocking this, the, the ladders. And even like crap tier stuff's gonna do do damage eventually, aren't they? Um, and they're slowing them down, which is giving the defenders enough time to use a bit of artillery. I still don't think it's gonna be enough to even get rid of that one tower, though. No, nothing. I mean, you, nah. you use those artillery to get those troop kills, because even though you start off with crap units, it's, you, it's just delaying those. If you get down to the home point or down to the wire, you've got less units to deal with on that home point. Overlook stayed well. a little bit too long there on the B side. Um, it's unlimited deaths, by the way, I think. Yeah, there's no. it's not like a normal tournament where you've only got three deaths and you're out. This is just like a normal siege. You can die as many times as you want. Obviously, each death, it takes longer to respawn. So the defenders have given up A. I would do exactly the same thing. It's, they it's can't even bad. take down the breach, can they? The defenders, like, to try and stop them getting up to B. No, and the attackers would be stupid to take down the breach until they've got B. But this is where the, the proper fight's going to be. I mean, we want to be watching those trebs on that uh, that bottom ramp near the uh, the supply point and yeah. trying to rotate them from, you know, C to the supply point to try and get those those troop kills off. Seven sets of outriders from the defenders as well. So they're going to be looking to put quite a bit of pressure on the, the attackers as soon as they get, like, grouped up on the staircases and stuff. Is the gate down? I'm going to have a quick look if the gate's down. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. They're moving uh, in now, though. Yeah. So they've got seven minutes now, they're about to cap A, they get a couple more minutes, they'll get B, so they're going to have roughly 11 minutes, I reckon. Yeah, they've got 10, 11 minutes for C. To... That's right, a strat to, you know, delay them. I don't see much range on the side of, apart from a few Shenjis and the two yeah. flames to kind of deal with these outriders, then they haven't got the cab out to, you know, count those uh, outriders. All they're nah. going to do is wait them down. Exactly. Um, Fort Abrachios and Imperial Pikes are going to do extremely well against, say, Keshigs. Unfortunately for the attackers, the defenders don't have any Keshigs out. They've just got the Outriders. Um, and their whole team's going up to be interesting. Is that not wasting time? You only need three dudes and then you get the max cap, cap speed off. I mean, they, they're going to 15-man push wherever they go on this map, but... Uh... Do you know, because it's basically just a big field battle. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, so what you're saying is they're just gonna stream down the, the stairs in a second and just no. like nuke everything. If they did that, they'd be very, very silly. Um, because of the outriders, you have to pull out of this really small staircase. This, it would just be suicidal to do that. You'd you'd, you'd lose so much in those trades. Um, you've got no cav to kind of come out as well afterwards. You've only got what your heroes are spawning uh, to come in and clear up things. I don't know what's with the camera on this one. I try using this little arrow and go slightly to the side. It just starts moving me instantly, which is kind of annoying. Um, so unit kills wise, the attackers have killed 98, obviously with the trebs and the defenders 49 so far. We've only had one death on the oh, defender side. Yeah, that's the stairs I thought they'd go down because it's a little bit wider. Nope. See if we can get a good position to actually see the fight.
Are they just gonna stream into? Are they gonna just try and push onto? I mean, the defenders don't actually have enough good units to stop a good good yeah, push. If the attackers are, are quick enough, and oh, they can block off the supply as well. Yeah. Like that's the cool, outriders yeah. are gonna struggle here. I think oh, that's why a lot of them are running back to get new units. They have to. Yeah, they've lost it here. Papa Bear's in the defending teams fight, uh, Liam. Yes, he's in love and devotion. There we oh. go. There's there's the main fight here. Flamer Boy's from the defenders, though, which is going to do work against that blob. They've just been def defended by Madao as well, so... Oh, that trip. The attackers have got Flamers up as well, but they didn't really do s as much. Yeah, this is this is Seagon. Oh, well played, bros. That was. This is yeah. where this is a problem because this is where you need your main time stall. Although Rose just lost a lot of units. What? What's the get 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 into C. Like it's um, three hundred troops dead from the blue teams, the attackers, and nearly three hundred for the defenders. Losing but the the, the, the the attackers just lost more higher tier units like the defenders got a lot of outriders out and now they're swarming from every direction oh my lord they won that trade very yeah, yeah. the defenders have got one one hero dead the attackers have two four six seven dudes dead so that they're gonna push them out here sea. yeah that guy that stored on c for him is an absolute hero <laughs> an absolute hero that should have been Lock sinker there for the, for the so that, well, that went the really well. Advantage. Yeah, you see yeah, the, the, out, the outriders did work there. What the, the thing that impressed me the most, honestly, with the defenders there was because I what we both said outriders aren't gonna be able to hold any ground, and like literally on this spot here, they had like one unit of Sifferophanoi, so the flamey boys, and like the main rose blob was here, and the flamers just fired in and absolutely shredded and stopped the push. And then they could stabilize from there and just basically swarm them and absolutely annihilate them. So that was really well played from the defenders. I, would I thought they were ruined. I would love to see how uh, Love and Devotion even got that that really good trade on that blob because it must have been the outright advantage and they must have just killed the flames with it because those explodes because they've got doctrines on um, on the on the unit so they'll do extra damage. Yeah, yeah. I th I, I, it was honestly though the defenders flamer boys that did the most work. Cause they had like literally had like. If I, can you see my mouse moving now? The the, the, the defend you can't see the mouse moving. Uh, on Discord. No. That's all right though. Just show me where the camera's fine. All right. So I was, like literally on this crossroads here, like coming down the yeah. stairs, the defenders had one unit of Sephirophanoi, and like the main rose blob was here, and they just fired in and completely staggered the whole blob. And then when they were all blobbed up and staggered then the outrider javelins come in because obviously when they're they're burning they can't defend with shields or anything can they and I, i'm pretty sure you get like a, a guaranteed critical then and then that blob just basically disappeared i'm pretty sure that's the same way how the kaylee militia work as well i'm pretty sure it was was it not susno that explained that to me see they're coming out from the small uh, gate again i mean they, they need to do like a big blob push, but they need to spe sp spread themselves because of so all that the so that the outriders can't do as much work. That's yeah. a good trip, though. That is a yeah. very good trip. That's half the medals there that's just died. And there was a lot of uh, outriders. Although there's less outriders on the field, there's only three or four. They, they need to block this off. Ro Rose is doing well now. Papa Bear's coming from behind though. He's got Armagers. Oh, although Montica and Berserker mode have seen it though. They're gonna they're gonna block that. So, yeah. Oh. It's just whether they can get this cab behind as well to... Uh, I mean, you saw the blob lose last time. I mean, they're trying it again, but... It's just whether Def, they... Def-wise, uh, the Blues have definitely got a disadvantage. They've lost yeah. 50, 60 more units so far. you got Montaki, has got a very good flank on here. He can get rid of Papa Bear's uh, Armagers for free and get into the so, Shenjis. That blob's there just we died go. again. Shenjis um, is gone. Yeah, that blob's just died again. Rose have got some stuff in the back lines, though. Yeah, they're getting this C. Well, slowly. I mean, the hero... They're going to lose, I think, from this. I mean, they're not, I've not seen many heroes trying to stall apart from the two shots. The defenders have lost them. five heroes as well, so the attackers yeah. have got the advantage. They should get C here. Bondit's coming through the back now as well, so he's going to get rid of the rest of it from behind. That's a good flank from Bondit. There we go, he gets a charge off. I don't know if he got as much work done as he wanted to do, but he definitely did damage. Yeah, they've got to see. They need to secure this supply yeah. and then work on home now. 
So we've got nine minutes. Uh, the defenders are down seven heroes as well. Or eight heroes even. They've got seven left alive. Unit death-wise, they're basically evened out again. There's only 30 in it. And it looks like Rose are going uber aggressive while they've got the numbers. Top Here come the Keshigs out. though. Oh, even more Outriders again. Ooh. Yeah, it's the ones they swapped out, wasn't it? When they, they, yeah. they held off that first push. Right, it looks like... I mean, they've got eight and a half minutes, so Rose are going to reset. They're going to swap out units a, a week. And they're going to look to do this in one push. They've still got four trebs, so if they can force the defenders to, to blob up and then treb it, they're going to be laughing. Oh my god, the defenders again, though. One, two, three, four. Five. They've got six sets of outriders oh, out. <laughs> two sets of Keshigs, couple of Madao. No, one Madao even. Iron Reapers. They've got some sturdy melee mixed in with so much outrider power. So they're going to actually push out and start countering before they even get anywhere near. Look. They're going to start outrider in this little blob that's coming from the resupply. There they go. Yeah, it does, though. In fairness. I mean, the attackers have now got four trebs left. Let's see what they can do with them. The defenders don't have flames out this time either, so they're not going to have the stopping power there. They've got four Brachio up, they've got IPGs can do, definitely do work on a big blob if it's pushing. The attackers, I would say, have the better units to actually zone control, though. But the longer the Outriders are given time to, to actually get their Jaff throws off, the worse it's going to be for the attackers. <clears throat> Who's fighting? Rose are the attackers, boys. I know there's like a five minute delay, so when you've asked this, you're probably getting five minutes first. But Rose are the attackers and Love and Devotion are the defenders. So it's basically EU1 attacking EU2. That treb missed basically oh, the everything. From behind, the car from behind. That Al Alakia, you mean? Car from behind and from the defenders, they're swarming. Yeah. I okay. think they've. Uh, I think they're gonna. I think, they're, I think the defenders are gonna get this fight here. Yeah. Although, are they? Yes, yes. The, the this this blob is. Opponents. Yeah, but the blue here look a winning look. And now they're trebbing the main blob of red, so this could go either way still. Although the attackers are down five heroes say, already. I about to say, yeah. No, they, they're clearing that up. Yeah. Oh, well played. Oh. Yeah. I, I honestly actually... didn't think they'd be able to do that with the unit composition that they had out there. If it's 13 against 8 heroes, so the defenders should easily get this. The attackers' units are going to start retreating, or just on V, they're not going to be able to use any abilities, so it's 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 basically easy mode for the, uh, the defenders. That is brutal, man. I'd... It's these big... I would have thought they would have split them up more, but it's these flanks that the Love and Devotion are getting out. That, that was insane. I mean, they got the cav charge then, and you, you just saw all these medals in the top right. Must have got over 60 unit kills in that cav charge. Yeah. You know, the Dow's not being braced, and, you know, silly little errors that you wouldn't expect a, a good house like Rose to do, to be fair. Right, I'm going to stick on here, uh, look on this sheet very quickly. My phone's ringing, which is always brilliant. Hero kills, group kills. So for the defenders, striker row 147. I think he just got that magnificent did, rear charge off at the end he there. Did, yes. <laughs> oh, there's been some good work going on both sides as well. Is that how do you say that? Gitchi, the Gitchi. Uh, Polax yeah. player 130 unit kills. Gitchi, I think something like that. Yeah. He's done work as well, man. I mean, nobody's done bad. Like, everyone's literally been getting stuck in, which is nice to see. All right, let's see. This is probably unit-wise the last push. The attackers have got yeah. quite a lot of Keshigs up still. They've got a lot of crap tier, though. They've got a lot of tier one. They've got two guys with no units, and the defenders still have at least all units. I mean, no anti-cav. They've only got two units of anti-cav there, and the Keshigs there... IPG and thing, yeah. ...would be huge. I mean, the first push you play this, you play it fast, you play it sweet. Oh, look at the supply. Yeah, supply push it's going to be... you got Bondit in the background over here as well, with his cavalry and Shankuzu. I think what Rose are going to try and do is get everything stacked up on the, the this side here towards the resupply and try and get Bondit in them in with a rear charge. Although he lacks going to counter it by the looks. I think they're losing this trade. I don't mean that, you know. Go in the main fight, yeah. it's diff- Where's those Kashyyyk's? 
They're winning the trade. These outraders back here are still doing work, man. It's close though. 13 to 12 heroes. Elax in the background though. Look, he's got literally just got a rear charge off of his outriders. Trankuzu, I think, counted that slightly. Oh, the controls on this are so terrible. I'm gonna see if we can get a better angle on this. So the home point is still actually completely safe. Rose are gonna get the closer resupply though. They are winning the hero fight. They've got two more heroes alive at the minute. They have got the resupply, so if anybody's got better units or like units to spare, they can now change them out. I think it's the healing of the units, which is the big Ooh, thing. Oh, a block of Madao has just been sent in. Some Iron Reapers have been sent oh, in as well. No. Oh, Fort Brachio just got Passing braced in time. Guards. Yeah, Palace Guards are going to smash them. Keshigs as well. Yeah, oh. They need to be V attacking with those Fort Brachio now, though. <sighs> and they're on the point. Straight home. Straight home. Monteki, they've got 11 heroes to 8 heroes. This is going to be close, man. Like, units is literally 88 units left alive for Rose against 144 from Love and Devotion. Like, they didn't respond well to that, that supply cap. The Medals that should have been fighting actually were sat on home point. Should have left just a few heroes there and sent yeah. those Medals in to try and fight, but. Now it's 12 against 6. I think Rose are going to get this. Yeah, same. It yeah. depends. I don't think uh, the defenders have had that many people die. I don't really want to miss it now, though. So they might be able to load in quick enough to keep getting um, on the point. Yeah, some more and more people coming in. We've got more cavalry coming in now as well. So I think the defenders might. I'm saying that two minutes is a long time to just try and hold off the cap. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> The on and off. There's and I mean, Polax on there now, though. You've got the Outriders there. You've got Papa Bearer's Short Sword coming in as well, just to stay in live. If they can trickle feed in, they might be able to do it. I don't think... It, it, it could be done. They just have to do it... Like, they have to be incredibly clever. Here comes another Short Sword. Overlook as the Musket's on. The next Short Sword's on. Now the next Short Sword's on. That's the actual sword should have come on here, should have come on after. Those morphs should fit off of the point and then get in afterwards. Yeah. They need to try and like stagger it so that when they die, they've, they've got, got a dude to jump straight back on. Morphs there must be in. a unit on that cat, see what's actually stopping the cat. It's like It's a unit. They've got these RPGs. Yeah, so they're gonna Oh that and they're advancing yet. Oh, they might they might be able to hold on, you know. They've got three heroes up, everyone's dead. If they can keep trickle feeding in long oh, enough. Oh, the three heavies coming in. Yeah, that's. I think that's it, GG. I don't think they've got the killing power now. The the, the rows have got no units. Ooh, is that Keshigs? I can't. Bondit's just brought out Keshigs. He might be able to clear them. That short sword's is that Keshigs? No, the heavies gone off. Oh, this is. Crazy. Oh, that's Outriders. Never mind. That's not going to be able to kill them quick enough then. They got 50 seconds. They've got seven heroes oh, up. I think this is. I think. I think Love and Devotion are going to be able to do this, you know? This is... Insane. They're going to they're gonna be able to keep trickling on enough to just prevent the cap. That's all they need to do now. Just stay alive as long as they can. Always have somebody on like... Oh, yeah. You always need one guy on the point and they've got it. That, that Polax there is waiting in the end. Got yeah. Another Polax. Got a short sword as well. Yeah, and Papa Bear's back up. Oh, well played. You got another musket coming. This GG, is... love and devotion, man. That was Very close. Well played. I think this unlimited death respawn is really understated. That's that's insane. Yeah, yeah. Think, if yeah, it would have been, on. can we see it on this? It's love and devotion is different. I'm gonna have a quick look before it gets to the end screen. We'll have a look. We'll check obviously the end plate before it goes back in there. So then I catch it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, here you go. So the defenders, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven guys with four or more deaths. So if that would have been a tournament, they would have been out of the fight <laughs> six years ago. Uh, Rose had one guy with four or more deaths, uh, just to put that into perspective. So the fact that that was a rule that you don't have as many deaths definitely helped the defenders out there. But again, if you if you look at the differences in the rules, not having any artillery was more difficult for the defenders as well because they didn't even have an opportunity to take any of the towers down.